the lever open in here. Let me have an e pen. I'm, I'm gonna mark stuff. Mm -hmm. Let you me need borrow that ruler. And yeah, let me borrow that ruler exactly. You need yeah. a big shear. No, we do it. These snippers are do, Felicia. So we're making this two and a half inches. You're gonna determine what you want your flap to mm -hmm. be, what size you want your bag to be, how you want mm -hmm. to finish all that. All right. We need to get rid of that music. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. And then we're gonna measure and leave an opening. This is on the inside of the bag. Mm -hmm. This is not the top of the bag. This is the bottom. Uh, it's really not the bottom, it's the inside. So really, this is going up like this, mm -hmm. and this is coming down like that. So we good with all that. All mm -hmm. right, so we want to sew this opening first. So you want to make sure they lines up. Make sure you cut them perfect. Mm -hmm. Leave the same size. Take your time and make sure everything is square. This is really important when you're making a bag if you mm -hmm. make sure everything is perfect first. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, it's just, it's going to show up. Mm -hmm. You're going to see all the imperfections. And since this fabric is so heavy, I'm going to stitch my three stitches on my corners. So if it's lightweight fabric, one stitch on the 45. If it's a uh, medium weight, two stitches on the 45. And it's a heavy weight, three stitches. So we can go, I usually just do it just like that, but I already tell I'm right back at my half inch. So I'm going to push this back. And start my three stitches on this heavy fabric. So I can get to my half inch seam allowance side. Oh, I just want to do my bottom. I'm, a, I'm starting on the wrong one. I don't need to turn on this one. I need to turn on my other one. I started. Okay, my that's the top. top. This is my opening at my bottom. At the bottom. Remember. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> right. Okay. So we just leaving our opening. Remember the bottom, guys. <laughs> Miss Jackie stuff at the bottom. Right. The same over here. It's really not the bottom, it's the inside of the bag. So we can get the right side out, we need to leave an opening. It's really almost the middle of this mm -hmm. is the bottom. Okay. And I would make sure I go press everything well, especially on your heavier fabric. Mm -hmm. Some stuff I would maybe go back and under stitch it so I can make sure it stays exactly mm. where I want it. Okay. And sometimes, depending on your fabric and what you're going to do, mm. I wouldn't edge stitch it. Mm. I would hand slip stitch mm. close it up. It depends on how nice your fabric is mm -hmm. for your bag, okay? So it just depends on the bag and you'll determine which way you want to finish and close it up. Now we're going to do the flap. So I'm going to start at my notch. Then I'm gonna do my corner. So as I approach that, I need this fabric is heavy to do three stitches on a 45. So I'm gonna turn it slightly. One, two, three. I'm back at my half inch seam allowance. I always want to reinforce my corners. This is a beautiful piece of equipment. Man, it just plows straight through here. I love it. One, two, three. Back in my half inch seam allowance. And then back down to my cross mark. And the back stitch. So here we're going to clip. And if you stitch a few stitches over, you know you need to go back and fix it. Because you don't want the top of your bag looking wopsided. Mm -hmm. And then I'm still going to go back and trim out this. It's because it's so heavy. You will see. It's going to still look like a point. Okay. 
So if you see that this is going to be too heavy on the top, then just go ahead and trim it. Because this fabric is upholstery waste, so it is kind of heavy. But I usually only trim halfway. Don't trim too close. And if I think it might be too heavy on the sides, I'm going to trim that away also. So it depends on your fabric. So both sides of this is the same. But one is representing the lining. So I have to open these up like this. Because if this was my lining, I want my liner sewn together. And if this one was my main fabric, I want that sewn mm -hmm. together. So I'm going to open it up like this and match that knot seam right to that seam. Match, line those up together, and then we stitch those together. Stitch right through there at whatever your seam allowance is. So I'm going to move that right out of the way. So right up half, right half. So after I get those together, then I'm going to take it and flip it down mm -hmm. and then stitch them together again. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you know that's thick, right? Mm -hmm. So you know we have to trim that, right? Know that. These little scissors, like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck? What the heck? Mm -hmm. Right. So when we pull that through, I want you all to see these corners. They just look like pointed corners. Mm -hmm. They're not going to look like rounded corners. And then we have this one half finish. Good pointed corners, mm -hmm. right? Then we're going to do the same thing with this. Going to take these and pull them through, back through so we can finish the other side. And remember, one is the lining, one is the fabric, open up the seam. So if it's a light enough weight fabric, this should be pressed open anyway. Match these together, and then stitch with your seam allowance. And remember, if you're putting that magnet on, you need to determine that closure, whatever your closure is, where you want it. Have it figured out. So before you do this step, you probably should figure out exactly where you want that. And make sure you don't catch the pocket flap. I don't know how they make those little bags that cheap because those bags, they have a lot of detail mm -hmm. on those cheap bags. Child labor. You know what I do? I know. <laughs> I go to the Salvation Army store and buy me a bag and cut all the hardware off because it would cost you more to buy the hardware brand new in a store <laughs> than to go get a used bag. You should see those findings on those bags. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. All right, let's join these together. Some, somebody resale store. And then trim half of the seam allowance away. I never trim more than half of my seam allowance away. On my garments, nothing. Don't trim too much. Might unravel and fall apart. There's the mess. So. Now we're going to push it all back through our opening. Seems like it's a little easier this time. So, I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell you. Okay, wait a minute. Um, shoot. All right. Video time. Right. All right. All right. So after we get this pushed all the way out, remember we're pressing or whatever you need to do in between. Um, this is the place where you would go top stitch if you mm -hmm. wanted to top stitch around mm -hmm. the edge of that. 
You can either edge this, stitch this, hand slip stitch your clothes, but now you can put your snap on here mm -hmm. and you can go through and line it up and mark it and put your snap through it on the side. But you do need to press interfacing on here to stabilize it. If you look on those bags and you rip them apart, they have like uh, heavy fabric that is supported mm -hmm. so it don't rip through your fabric and tear it up. So you do need to put something on the back to support it. And then there you go. After you slip stitch that, press it good. Flap come down there. That's a really cute. Mm -hmm. It's cute, right? Yeah. All right, Here clutch. So you just determine whatever size you want to make your clutch. That's mm -hmm. all. But that's the steps to doing it. It's just our mini version. Okay. It's like a cell phone bag now, right? Mm -hmm. All right, sweet.